Right, hello and welcome to my backyard. Today, um, this is the part two to the uh, build the vault. I have printed three vertical axis wind turbines and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to make the best of your vertical axis wind turbine. Um, what to do and yeah, let you know what's, what, what's up. This is the first vertical axis wind turbine I have 3D printed. This one, I believe this is a, I can't remember what angles, what twist angles I used here. I, prob I probably did that in the first video, but I decided I found some 400 millimeter M8 threaded rods and I printed this one here. This one, I have the extendo rock, uh, sorry, the bearing rocket top. 30 millimeter straight piece, 200 millimeter, 200 degree twist angle. This is the blue. Uh, this is the 50 millimeter straight. And I have a, uh, I have the extendo rocket bottom, the 50 millimeter spacer, and I have a 80 tooth, an 80 tooth gear at the bottom here. Over here, this is my third build the boat that, that I have printed. I've printed the third one because the second one was not spinning and I thought maybe this 200 degree twist angle here was too much. So I did the same thing over here. 30 millimeter at the top, 200 millimeters, but this 200 millimeter blue section here, this has a 90 degree twist. Then I have the 50 millimeter uh, straight piece here. Um, bearing rockets bottom 50 millimeter spacer and i have a 20 tooth gear at the bottom here so the reason why the first one and the second one were not spinning was because i had the wrong nut at the top the nut i had at the top were you uh it tightened i don't know if the rod was spinning the me rod was spinning or the nut was spinning but the nut would clamp down on the vertical axis wind turbine and seize it up essentially. So what I did to combat this, well, I had a locking nut which keeps its distance from the top. I'll probably do a B-roll insert to show you guys a nut. And also, I did not have washers at the bottom. So what I had, without the washers at the bottom, you would have plastic on plastic friction and it would not spin as much also i guess i was right saying that this twist angle was too high because this is a 90 degree twist angle and it is spinning it was spinning a lot faster earlier today well this is the second time i'm recording this video but it was spinning a bit faster well both of them were spinning but with the little bit of wind that is coming right now this one is spinning this one with this lower twist angle, I hypothesize is also 
would also be ideal for power generation because you have more torque. I also have a small tooth gear here. This is a 20 tooth gear. And if my, if the entire vertical axis wind turbine did not fall over this morning, I would have had a, I would have showed you guys how it attached to the motor mounts. My motor mount is now cracked and I have to reprint another one. This is a 50 tooth gear I had on the vertical axis wind turbine. So I would, ha would have had a two to five gear ratio. This is a 80 tooth gear. I would have probably had, I would have probably brought my 24 tooth gear from upstairs, put it on here and show you basically how the gearing ratios work. Uh, which one would be more efficient for, um, what you call it, for power generation. Uh, if you don't have washers to put between your gear and your motor carriage or motor motor, whatever this is called, I think this is the motor mount in the 3D printed files. I put tape. I did not have washers this morning, but you know, free overnight one day delivery on Amazon, I got me washers. But before I had the washers, I put tape at the bottom here. So tape between the gear, sorry, tape on the, on the bottom of the gear and tape on top of the motor mount to reduce that friction. All right, let's see, I talk about the top here. Oh, um, this is secured on the table with the Prusament clamp. I'll leave a link uh, at the description down below. Prusament clamp, it works fine. I suggest you use two instead of one because as I told you, as I said this morning, uh, especially if you're use, using this for power generation, uh, one pushman clamp would not be enough and your whole thing might topple over. So definitely use two pushman clamps or more securely secure uh, your vertical axis with turbine with nails or something a bit more permanent. The pushman clamps, they're very semi-permanent. I can stick it up on my fence, brought out this table here in this backyard, put it here. Pushman clamp works well. Now, as you, as you can see, the, 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 the lower twist angle is spinning a lot more than this bigger twist angle. This could also be because maybe it has less um, angular momentum because I have a smaller gear on this one than on this one. But you know, let's just say the, 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 the lower the twist angle, the more torque you get uh, because you know, big brain. Another thing you can think about is mounting your vertical wind turbine upside down. When I was on Instagram showing my followers that I 3D printed a wind turbine and I had it upside down, I walked down the steps just from upstairs to downstairs and it was spinning just from me walking down the steps. That I hypothesized this is because um, I did not have to overcome any, any friction between the motor mounts and the gear. I did not have to overcome any friction with regards to the entire weight of the wind turbine on the gears, nor did I have to, um, yeah. I have washers here now, on the here and on the here, but before I had tape. If you mount it upside down, you don't have to worry about anything. As long as you have this self-locking nut, the self-locking nut would not go anywhere. But yes, this lower twist angle here, great for low wind, low wind performance. You get your bang for your buck or you, you get your wind's worth with this lower twist angle here versus this high twist angle. Oh, another thing I did, I have modified this motor mount to have the same the same diameter holes on both sides of the motor mount. On the original files provided by Christopher's factory, on one side of the motor mount has a big opening here. Not sure why this is and I don't like it because when you have your motor mounts attached, it can you have too much play and your gears do not mesh well together when you have all of this play at the back here. So I just straighten it out very you know 
I did a very ghetto remedy. I'll leave the, the files for that motor monk there. I'll Alright guys, if you have any questions about this vertical axis wind turbine from Christopher's factory, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I'll also include the files, the original files for the uh, build about vertical axis wind turbine. I'll include a link to the Prusament clamp. I'll also include a link to the modified motor carriage so that it does not wiggle around. I'll also leave parts in the description down below. 400 millimeter threaded rods, the bolts, 400 millimeter rods by the way, they come with the self-locking nuts so you don't need to go looking for that. I'll leave space, uh, the washers, yeah, I'll leave the washers and the stepper motor also in the description down below. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.